In this painting tutorial, we are going to concentrate on the big crashing waves of the sea. In this oil painting tutorial, I take you through step by step with no edits or cuts. I will show you the paint palette and the mixtures and formulas of the paint we will be using. Also, I'll show you the brushes if you're painting along with me. This step by step seascape oil painting was done in 40 minutes, but feel free to pause, rewind and replay the video as often as you like until you master a certain technique. If you have no desire to pick up a paintbrush but just want to sit back and watch some of nature's masterpieces painted onto canvas, I appreciate you watching. Now let's take a look at the primed and prepped canvas. We're going to paint a seascape today. I've got a primed canvas. This is, uh, I think it's 20 inch by 18 inch. It's primed with blue acrylic paint. Okay, so I'll just put ultramarine blue and white up there. And down here I've added a little bit of emerald in that, a little bit of greeny colour. When that's dried completely, what I've done is sketched in where I want the waves to be. I want some big crashing waves against a nice big stone or something like that. They're all going to plan. OK, so this is nice and dry now. So what I'm going to do is go through the palette with you. But before I do, please like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. OK, let's have a look at the palette. So we'll start off in the sky, which is just black, Prussian blue and white mixed together. OK, we've got a bit of a sun colour there and top of the foam, which is just yellow, ochre and white. That's cad yellow. We've got flat water, which is a viridian colour with yellow, ochre, white and a little bit of this deep water colour. OK, this deep water colour is made by black, viridian, blue and a touch of white. It looks a very, very black green colour. OK, lower foam colours. We have got some of the sky colour plus a little bit of ochre and white. And the deepest foam colours, we have got same colours, but a little bit of crimson. And I think there's a bit of uh, red in there as well. OK, we've got just a bit of titanium white down here just to, to help us out if we need it. The rock work that we're going to have, we have got uh, umber and black. So we've taken some of this and we've added a little bit of crimson and white into that for a little bit of highlight. A second rock highlight would be a little bit of this, but a lot of white and a touch of red thrown in there. So it's a nice pinky colour. And a third rock highlight, if we need it, is a little bit of the rock work, only a touch, plus white, plus red, plus yellow, cad yellow and yellow ochre. OK, so there's colours. We've got us brushes there. So fan brushes, blender brushes, one inch brush, palette knife and stuff like that. So let's get painting. Prime canvases are very good because it allows a little bit of that colour to show through and it gives it a big cast over the old composition. Now, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of medium, which is linseed oil in my case, and a touch of that sky colour. OK, that, that sky colour. And on a one inch brush, I'm just going to put some of this in. OK. And I'm not going to completely cover the whole of the sky. I'm just going to just put it in roughly where I think there should be. A little bit of linseed oil on there. All right, that, that looks pretty dark, but the light spots will show through. We're going to have some pretty bright clouds up here, but I want some of this dark colour on there first. Okay, so just really scrub it in, maybe get a bit more. Uh, I don't want much over in this corner. I want a nice bright spot over there. And where our foam's going to crash up, we want the contrast of this dark colour as well. So we'll pop that in there like so. We may even come back and touch up, touch a white every now and again. So just get this thrown in. Easy peasy. Like so. Right up into this corner. Leave a little bit there like that that looks pretty mean sky doesn't it one flat dead color but because we've got the colors on underneath the blue canvas it will help us out somewhat okay just take off any high spots and brush strokes and stuff like that very little paint very little paint just tint the canvas basically there we go right i'm going to wash that brush just in a little bit of odorless thinner OK, wash it off, shake it off and just dry it out on a paper towel and hit it if you want to do. Right, so that's that done. Right, let's make sure it is dry. Just use some lint free paper towels. OK, so we're going to put a little bit of something up there. 
So grab a little bit of that sun colour or sky colour, sky sun colour, whatever we called it, just up there. And I'm just going to put this in and that will have a real big impact. And I'm just going to draw it down to that grey colour, that grey sky bluey colour, like so, like that. Okay, wipe the brush. You might need to clean it if you want, but I'm just going to wipe it. Okay, and get some of this out there. Okay, I'm not taking this back up there though. Okay, and if you need to wipe and wash, just wipe and wash, wipe and wash. I'm going to put a few more bits and pieces over there. Got to be careful a little bit because it's got a lot of yellow in this and yellow and blue, which is some kind of colour that we've got up there may turn a bit green but it's a seascape it's looking a bit rough that's what i'm after anyway there like so and then just merge these two colors together so we'll soften them in a moment with a with a soft brush there like that okay let's get a soft brush okay and i'm just going to start up there with a main colour is and then just work his way around and out and then just tease these together that looks very moody very very moody you won't want to be near this near this seascape really yeah so that's the sun shining through the clouds burning a little bit up there like that and I think that's all I'm going to do for the sky just there like that it could go into a lot more detail I suppose but I'm going to try and do this in one fell stab in one big go okay let's get rid of that all right so let's put some colors down in for the wave so I'm going to take a fan brush let's take the big fan brush and I'm going to take the deep water color which is a very dark green almost black okay and I'm gonna throw some of this in. Looks black on the canvas. But I'm gonna throw some of this in. I wanna leave a little bit there, the eyes there. So bring that down there like so. If it's not sticky, sorry, if it's not flowing so much, just get a little bit of your, your linseed oil. Under there, I think we'll put some, cause we're gonna have some shadow work there as well. The deep water. And on that side as well. Just push it in, push it about. And again on this one, I think we've got another ripple or so, so I want some deep water there. I don't know whether they're gonna have a beach here or not yet. Just see how far and how big these, these big waves grow. There, like that. No problem, no problem. If you get a bit too much paint, you can just try and wipe it off with the cloth. Like that. There we go. Okay, I'm going to swirl this brush off and dry it. Okay, swirl it off in the thinners and dry. Get a paper towel and dry it. Okay, I'm going to go into the flat water colour now. The flat water colour, which is uh, just a little bit more greenier than than this a lot more greenier than this to be honest and i'm just gonna swirl this in swirl this in around the darks like that we've got a big rock there so i'm not too fussed about it i suppose at the moment uh, definitely want some there as well uh, and up there Got a bit of a splash coming over, but there we go, there we go, like so. Grab a bit more, and I think we can put some there, like I'm doing anyway. And when we can blend these together at some point, blend the two colours together at uh, at the right time. Uh, do we want anything here? We'll put a bit in there. We'll see what it looks like. To see where we go with it. Like that. Maybe you could have done this with a one inch brush, two inch brush, or something like that, but I got this fan brush on the go. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. 
<laughs> you'll end up with a fan brush with no air on it though. Anyway. Right, there we go. Like that. Just tease them together now. Okay, just wipe off any excess that you want. And we're going to work on the wave. So I think this big wave, maybe we'll have to get a bit of colour up there as well. Just something in there so we know where we're working with. And remember, if this blue canvas shows through, that's perfectly fine. I'm happy at that. Gives a nice cast to out the whole of the, uh, of the composition. All right, so I'm going to pull that dark colour down. This is probably where the fan brush is better. We'll pull it down uh, and we can pull it across and tease and blend these together like that. Maybe into there as well. Mm. And then on this one as well, don't want to leave this one out. Like that. Pretty hard painting sideways on, you know. <laughs> right. I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab another brush and I'm going to get a little bit of the sun colour and a bit of that water. That, and I'm just going to pop it in there. That's the eye. That's where we can see straight through. Now we know where to go now. We know where to go. Maybe there's a little bit more of a one up there as well. Okay. Something like so. And we'll just tease these together like that. That's the good beauty of these oil paints. You can sort of like blend them till they're so soft and it gives the impression of movement in the water. Okay, let's just wipe any excess off that. And I'm gonna push this up, 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 up. Like so, and down. And then across again, softening it, softening it, softening it. There. Now you could spend hours doing this. I usually do. Right. Down there like that. And a bit more there like so. Now, I think we ought to work on some, some foam and stuff that's happening out here. Okay, so let me clean that off. Knock off any other excess thinners okay let's go for the low foam okay we've got to put the foam in before the rock or we'll end up making a big massive mushy mess okay so i'm going to leave it kind of blank in places and i'm going to put this low foam in there like that just on this wash brush like there let it crash up into the sky uh, a bit more. Every wave needs a shadow. Um, let's have a look at this. So we'll put some, maybe get a different brush. Let's get a fan brush. Can sneak into areas, can the fan brush. Okay, so we'll, we'll pop some there like that. Maybe a little bit over the top and down. Again, work free those out there like so uh, I think on this one as well we'll have some of that foamy colour just getting involved gotta have a little bit of colour getting involved every now and again haven't you there we go that's gonna pick up some of that black as well so don't worry too much about it don't worry too much about that okay a little bit more of this colour I'm gonna just push it down here in fact we can go back to the bigger brush and just push this is where the the beach is so we might put a little bit of land or sand or something down there but put a bit of that that color in there how we're doing how we're doing for time <laughs> okay nearly tea time okay i'm going to take the second deep foam color now the deep foam color which is a bit darker and I'm just going to tap it into places. Oh, eating up the rock here. Uh, I don't know if you can tell any difference. I can because I'm really, nose is touching the canvas, but it is slightly different. 
in colour. A little bit dark, a little bit of crimson in there as well. Okay, so just very softly, very gently different in colour. So in various places, I'm just going to hit it there like that. A bit more there. So it's like almost a, a, a very dark grey, almost like a purpley grey colour. Okay, there we go with that. All right, let's swill this brush off. Okay, because I want to put some of that top foam colour on before we get too carried away. Okay, swill the brush off. Thinners, shake it off, shake it all about, cover everything. All right, make sure it's nice and dry. And then I'm going to go back into this same colour, which is that yellow and ochre and, and white. Okay, look how the brush is and it's all separated. So when you touch up here, it'll look really like it's glowing in the sky and you get all sorts of like little splashes and things. Yeah, it just goes across that rock there. Keep loading your brush if you need to clean, clean. Okay, nice little gap there, dry canvas. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, we'll come down there. We'll have to work on that in a moment, but I'm sure we can. I'm just gonna throw in a bit of there, like so. Okay, maybe, maybe we want some over here as well. So we'll touch on there and there, and we'll come back and sort this out. In a moment, we'll probably use a smaller brush. Okay, let's get the fan brush again. Just let's swill that off because we need to work on some of this water. Now I'm going to take some of that same same colour. Okay, that's all it is. But I am going to dive into a touch of the white, just a touch of the white, maybe a little bit of the oil, just to thin it down somewhat. Okay, and we'll come over there. And we're going to just make it look like there's a bit of movement in there like that and it comes down there but you need that shadow underneath okay you need that shadow to make it stand out okay and then there's a bit on the other side as well like so like that that's creeping over there nice nicely does it Okay, well, we've got it. We might just put a few little streaks in. We might have to wipe some of this canvas off, but I don't know. Looking a little bit all right for, for the time it's taken. For the time we're on. Okay, let's go to that far wave, that back one. And we want this to come over there. There, like that. And it's coming over and it's coming over. Let's get a little bit more of the white and yellow involved with that. Uh, we might just take this there. Like so. Over and over we go. We don't want to overplay this. If you keep overplaying it, then we're going to end up making mud. And that's not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. I uh, just get these directional waves going, uh, because we're creating a wave, not a not a waterfall. Okay, do we have some over there as well? I don't know, but we'll pull a little bit over, just to give it a little bit of something going on there as well. Like that. Okay, let's go down here. Put a little bit of something else. And there, uh, and maybe a little bit of watery feel into that, like this. Come back with a liner brush soon and really work on that. Let's take the blender and just gently go across the whole thing, just to smooth it out, make it have that watery feel, just like so. This easy, how easy is this? Better be careful how I say this easy. Somebody might think I'm saying something else. Okay, again over the top. Uh, need a soft brush for this. I think this is pony hair or goat hair or something like that. Really works. 
really works nicely. Yeah. Of course, the more you blend, the less definition you're going to get. That's all right. I'm going to take some of this now. It's this shadow colour, and I'm going to go up into that that foam colour, that top foam colour. There. Notice there's no white on the canvas. We're not having any white on it. No, no black. It's all mixed in. It's all mixed together. So what black and white we have used, we have we have mixed it with other colours. I'm going to take some of this softness and just tease up there like so now I'll probably will it that again I'll probably will have some more black streaks and stuff like that in this so let's take let's take some of that deep water color let me grab another brush that deep water color and I'm just gonna put that under there it needed it didn't it it needed it so it's like a greeny black Greeny black colour. And I'll just tease it together. You can do this. Anybody can paint this. This is such an easy painting. Such an easy painting. There we go. Uh, I want some foam on this. Maybe I forgot to put some foam on it. Oh dear. Right. Now we know where that foam is. We can put some more of this dark colour on. There. So, just work it together and a bit over there. Deep water, like that. You can't really go wrong. You can't really go wrong. It's just one easy way of painting a seascape. There. Like so. Okay, let's take, let's have a think of it. I don't know, do I work with the clouds a bit more? Do we leave it like that? I don't know. Let's take some more of that top sky colour and I'm going to, I am going to mix a little bit more white into that. Okay, what's on this brush? Maybe I have to clean this one. I am going to mix a little bit more white into that, uh, that yellowy foam colour. Okay, just a touch. You're not going to hardly notice. You're not going to, well, I... I hope not. <laughs> just a touch. Okay, and let's just see what it gives us. Oh, that's a bit more punchy, isn't it? Bit more punchy. Yeah, then just add that in. Keep loading the brush. A bit more punchy, a bit more punchy. That's what we want. It all splashes up and churns up. There we go, a bit more there. Like that. Okay, let's take, let's take, let's take the blender again and just tease that together and lift and turn like in the shape of a wave hitting the rocks down there, like that as well. Right, I think we need to work on the foam. Okay, we did put a little bit of linery work with the foam. Um, I think we need to work a little bit more with that. Okay, just let's wipe off any excess that we've got on the on the fan brush, and let's go into some of this this foamy colour. Okay, we have put some there, but we want some some more down here. So we'll just push this in like that. Just push that in. Every wave needs a shadow. Every wave needs a shadow. If it doesn't, it just looks flat. Right, a bit of that darker wave colour, maybe even and a bit more into that there, like so. And just creep it up. Be free as well. Don't try and follow any particular style or shape. Just, just be free with it. Uh, this fan brush really does sneak in to some of these decent areas where we're wanting it to be, where we're wanting the, the paint to go. Yeah, right. Some of that deep green, deep seawater. Right, I'm just going to put that there. It could do with it being a bit darker, so I'm just going to shove that in. And it'll mix with the colours that are on there, because they're all pretty much the same 
family of colours, it will it will it will help out, won't it? There, like so. Right. I can just tease that. Softly go over, softly go over, softly go over uh, the whole thing. Okay, I think it could do with something at the back there as well. So I'm just going to take some of that colour and just put a little bit of a something up there. I will step back before I finish the painting, though. I am pretty much sideways on, so I don't even know if it looks all right. Does it look all right to you guys? All right, all right, I just made a big mess. Right, let's take, let's take that same wash brush and let's take some of this colour that we've got down here and we're just going to splash on there like that. That looks mean, doesn't it? Whew. Splash, splash, splash. Splash, splash, splash. Use the brush to your advantage as well. These soft brushes really do work well. Good for foliage, good for splashes and stuff like this. And there we go. Going up there as well, crashing on the beach down here. And uh, we'll put this in, even though we haven't put the rock in yet, so we might have to do that in a minute. A bit more of that. Like that, so we've got a shadow, and we've got we've got the highlight, shadow and highlight, all looking crazy. All right, I'm going. I'm going to take some of that sky color, a little bit this sky color, and I'm just going to just drag it over some of this, just to break up that area. Maybe in there as well. Make sure we get it going right. There. Like so. Maybe over there. Do we want much? Hmm. Get rid of that strong line. Get rid of that strong, strong line. Okay. There. I think we need to put a rock in or two. Let's just take that same colour. That same brush should I say. Okay, burnt umber and black. Okay, and we're just gonna throw this in. Throw that in there, like that. We might even put a rock down in the front. Any old owl. Again, if you don't cover the whole canvas, don't worry yourself too much about it. The canvas is primed and it's ready for us. That comes out here, maybe, maybe get a bit more of that rocky colour out there like that. And even pull the reflections down like you would do in a landscape, just to see what happens. <laughs> okay, uh, we want some highlights on this now, so let's go into that first highlight colour. Wipe off any excess that you've got on your brush. Okay, first highlight colour. Take off any massive lumps. Got a bit of white paint in that. Get rid of the rag. And let's see where we go with this. There we go, like that. So I don't know if you can tell. I mean, at the end of the video, you'll be able to see it all in its all glory, but um, there. Just pick out a few stony things. Falling straight off the fan brush there, like that. Okay, wipe off, wipe off any of that excess and we'll go into the the, uh, the second highlight colour. So we've got a base colour, we've got an highlight colour. Let's go into that pinky colour now and we're going to pick out a few little areas. You might see it, you might not there, like that, where, where the light is just hitting so maybe a bit up there like that don't want to overdo we want something on the top though don't we don't want to overdo just yet there wipe off any of that excess and we'll go 
in fact I'll clean the brush will go into we will go into some of that third highlight color which is like a peachy color all right and again we just want to touch on see where this takes us move it down there okay and what we'll do we'll pull it down and across again on this one there like so let the well, let the knife, let the fan brush do the work for you. Yeah, that worked. We've got it. We've got it. Okay, let's swill that brush off. I don't know why the palette knife is in is in the wash can, but it is. So let's get rid of that. All right, I think we could have. We could have some of that deep watercolour. I said we were going to put a beach down there, but I think it looks a bit too close to us. So what we'll do is we'll put some of that deep watercolour. In fact, I'm going to grab some of that sky colour as well with that deep watercolour. And we're just going to throw that in with the fan brush, straight off the fan brush. If you, And again, if you leave any little pockets of something, the canvas showing through. Don't beat yourself up about it. Yeah. Tease it, tease it, tease it. Work it, work it, work it. There we go. Like that. Okay. I am going to just take the soft brush again and just tease this area now. Tease it all together including the highlight highlight into the the foam color the foam color into the dark like so just tease it with this soft brush it'll work for you it will work gently up 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 we could do a song all right there we go and then just straight across okay i am going to take Let's clean that brush one more time because I do want some poppy highlights now. Before we come to the liner work, let's get rid of this. So back again with the white and the yellow. A lot more white this time. A lot more white, just a touch of that yellow. I don't want pure white. I don't want pure white on here. Okay. And we want a little bit of impact just there on that crest. Okay. Maybe if it's not sticking, add a little bit of, add a little bit of something to it. There we go. And then it comes down. Looks a little bit paler, doesn't it? Uh, we'll just turn this up like that. Churn, churn, churn. There we go, like so. And then maybe up there, one or two up here as well. Like that. Big crashing wave. Big crashing wave. It's coming alive now, isn't it? Now we want a little bit of something on here. A little bit of something. Go back into that yellow colour for the edges, I think. So there we go. Uh, make sure you cover all your shadow up. Not all your shadow. Don't cover your whole shadow up. I mean, make sure you put a highlight on a shadow. <laughs> don't know what I'm saying. There we go. A little bit of something there. And maybe a little something down here as well. Just on the side of the fan brush there. Like that. I think we're getting close close to it aren't we there okay maybe a little more splishy and splashy now we've got that rocking place we can put a little bit more splishy splashy stuff there. okay so therapeutic such such a fun pastime is art 
Okay, I know what you're thinking. It looks like it's missing something. It is missing something, but we'll get to that in a moment. We'll get to that in a moment. A little bit of something on the crest up there. And again, we'll splash round. Looks like it's hitting the side of the canvas. Yeah. Around there like so. Right, let's get rid of that. Back to the blender, and I'm just gonna gently pull the colors together very softly, very softly, like that, and up and around and dance them. Leave some thick parts, leave some thin parts, yeah? Leave some thick and thin parts. Okay, up into the sky. Again, I'm going with a flow. I'm going with a directional flow of the wave. There we go. On the rock, we can do the same thing. Don't want it too hard. Don't merge your colors. Don't, don't, don't mix them. Just, just take off any sharpness. Yeah, like that. All right. I think on this far wave as well, we'll need something like that. Easy, easier, yeah? easy when you give it a go. There. Okay, okay, right. Now let's put something on it. Okay, let's get a little bit of thin oil and a liner brush. Okay. And I'm gonna first go into the, sa the sky color, okay? Which was just black, blue, and a touch of white. And I'm thinning it down with some oil. So make it really thin, really thin. All right, and I'm gonna put a few little swirls and whatever they are, swills, squiggles, whatever, all along. I will change the colour of this as well, so we'll put some lighter ones and some darker ones in. Yeah, and cross here as well. If you've got a bit of something like up there, that needs to be a little bit darker. You can darken it off now with your liner brush. Swill it, swill it, swill it. Uh, a little bit there as well. And a couple in there whatever we've got down there. Right, uh, what we need to do is just take the blender again and then just very gently, very gently follow the direction of the wave. Okay, just, just very gently. Remember that's really wet oil. So you don't really wanna be moving it much, but a little bit of something off the blender will help you out. There we go. Well, give that watery effect right let's take some let's take some of the whites okay let's take some of the pale colors all right so again just a little bit of oil a little bit of the pale color okay it's this that color <laughs> you know what color it is that color and same thing again okay where we're going to go with it we'll just put it in squiggle it in squiggle it in okay a bit more oil bit more white, bit more yellow. And we'll come under here as well. You can't get these wrong, you really can't. Unless you put them in the sky. But where they're meant to be, you can't, you can't get it wrong. Yeah, a few under there as well. And don't worry if they get a little bit too oh, weirdy looking. If, if the worst thing comes to the worst, you just take your blender and blend them into the to the background. There we go some things down there like that. Okay, get rid of the brush. Back to the blender, and again just just tease and blend and let it look like a seascape. And down here, don't leave down here out. All these foamy patterns. There we go. Right, I think 
I'm going to take a step back and see if we finish this composition. What do you think? Uh, well, I'm sweating. I am sweating. Well, <laughs> that is one seriously epic um, seascape, you know, really stormy and everything like that. If you've enjoyed this one, give it a big old thumbs up. Leave me a nice big comment as well. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you try this one, it only takes about 40 minutes to do. Let me know. Until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Happy days. I'll see you next.